News for Jack's outside a popular night spot in Riverside. Now closed. Will be closed till tomorrow. A young employee was killed while taking out the trash. 20-year-old Daniel Rowe was taken to the hospital after being shot twice in the head outside Blind Rabbit. He died at the hospital. Since the morning show just hours ago, we've spoken with Rowe's future mother-in-law. Channel 4's Jim Pickett joins us now from Riverside. Any arrests in this case yet, Jim? You know, not yet. Police are still investigating this. As you said, the Blind Rabbit Burger and Whiskey Bar is how they advertise. They have a sign on the front that says they're closed for today. They're going to reopen tomorrow. That's out of respect for that worker that was killed, Daniel Rowe. But let me show you something that's been going on here throughout the morning. And that's right down here. See this bicycle locked up against this post? That is Daniel's bicycle. And people have been coming up all day, leaving notes of sympathy, leaving notes to the family, leaving notes of inspiration as well. And one of some of the people that were out here today was the 20 20-year-old's fiance and also the mother of two of his children as well. She was out here putting on a note as well as his future mother-in-law. In fact, we had a chance to talk to her about Daniel and what this all means to her. Here's what she told us. I just told him that, he, that he's special to me and to my husband and that we'll do the absolute best we can to help Brittany and the babies. Um, I left a note from his two girls saying that they love daddy um, and Brittany and Daniel live for, are forever in love. Obviously, it's a very emotional scene out here as friends and co-workers have been coming by as well. In fact, last night at t after 10 o'clock, just after this happened, Daniel's father, who actually works across the street at Kickbacks, he's a cook over there, he also came running over here just couldn't believe what he was hearing from others in the area about his son, who also used to work with him over there as well. But we had a chance to talk to him today about his son and what he's feeling. He had a heart of gold. He would do anything for anybody if they asked. And he never questioned. It's just the way he was. And the biggest thing about him, the only thing about him was he woke up every day to take care of his daughters and help his girlfriend take care of the kids. He worked so hard that he saw the kids as much as he could. And they just found out that they had another one on the way. So you can just see how the family is dealing with all of this. It just came as such a shock, came as a shock to all of the people around here. Here's what we know, at least according to police, that last night Daniel was coming out one of the back doors here at the restaurant just to empty trash into a dumpster in the area back here and that he was shot twice in the head, according to police. They also say at the time there are two suspects that they're looking for. They haven't updated a sense as to why they know about these two suspects. All we know is that they are looking to see if there's surveillance video in the area. I've been talking to businesses and to others around here, ironically, just across the street over here is City Councilman Jim Love's office. He wants to make sure that the street lights are working here, and if not, he's going to make sure that they're working. But this is a popular area. Lots of people come out here at night, and that's what they say. Somebody had to see something. We're live in Riverside, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.